let's dive into this okay so for the people that don't know you what is your first and last name you know your age and where you come from and who you're playing for right now my name is Tariq Mohammed. I'm 20 years old born in 2000 I'm from Scarborough born and raised uh, I play for Toronto FC too yeah that's what it is so you are a professional player right yes sir and when did you sign your first contract uh, 2019. 2019. And how did that feel? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The end of 2018. The end of 2018. And what, what? How old were you there in 2018? 18. You're 18. So how did it feel like signing a professional contract at 18? But it was like a dream come true, you know? Right. Work. I've been in the academy for like what? It was four four years. So like you're working for four years to finally get that, and when you accomplish it, there's no feeling like that, you know. Right, and like for the ones that want to know, you know, for the ones that are growing up right now, soccer players or football players that want to become professional soccer players, you know, what would you share with them? Tips, advice, <coughs> or the process? Honestly, uh, before you get to the professional level, things are a lot more difficult. Like. Uh, some players might go through taking the bus there and stuff like long journeys just to get to training like late nights and then you got to do your schoolwork like i got caught up with the schoolwork and balancing the soccer with that too you know right so it, it gets tough and it, it wears you down mentally but if you just stay focused and you know what your goal is and where you want to be you got to use that to drive you every day you know right even on the bad days so what do you do to keep that balance honestly uh, there was times where I just felt like, yo, I wanted to stop. I didn't want to travel there no more. But, like, I knew that I had to do this to get to where I wanted to be afterwards, you know? Right. So it's all steps and it's all, like, it all comes into play after you put in the work and time passes, you know? For sure. And one of the things that you pointed out there is that you had to motivate yourself to keep going. Yeah, yeah heavily, heavily. Because nobody else is going to do it for you, you know? Exactly. Your parents could tell you a whole bunch of stuff, but mostly, like, for me at least, and I'm sure with a lot of footballers, your parents tell you a lot of things like, oh, you got to have a backup plan. You got to, they, they worry more about school yeah. than in your sports. So it comes to a point where it's really that it's like you really believing in yourself and how far that you could push yourself. Because only you know, your parents don't even know how, how far you can go, you know? Right, right. So only us. So... You got to really believe in yourself and push yourself to the fullest and train hard every day. I think that's what really did it for me. Like, I didn't stop. Even if I was pissed off, I'll go in there, I'll train, train my ass off. I'm not stopping. That's facts. I totally agree with you. And, man, that's that's hustle, and I applaud you for that. And, you know, just keep going. You're already successful right now. You, you know, the sky's the limit, right? So, yeah, yeah. you know, 2018, you signed your first contract. You're 18. You know, mentally, what are you going through? Honestly, for me, because obviously my, my goal is to be with the first team, so I felt like that was a big step for me in the direction that I wanted to go. Right. Like, it was a step that had to be made to get to where I want to be, and it's probably, it's probably like, um, it's probably the biggest step to get to where I want to be, you know? Right, right, right. And, you know, what, what would be the difference in the transition of, like, um, you just playing for the academy for playing for the second team now, right? The, team two. Yeah. So basically, um, it it gets a lot more serious. It gets a lot more serious. Like when guys are getting into you, if you make a mistake and stuff like that, that's when I really realize, like, yo, you can't like this. It's real. Right, and it rips into you, you know, for a bad touch or you're taking too long to play the ball. Like that stuff gets to you, and then. It's just the level and the pace. It gets everything gets faster, like from academy to TFC two, then TFC two to first team. Like the pace just gets faster and faster. You gotta think quicker. You gotta play with less touches. Like, you know what I mean? Right. And how and how long did it take you to transition into that? Right. Twenty eighteen, you signed, and then now two years later, you know, what was the process of the transition for you? So honestly, I felt like I just needed to get more comfortable because when you're young and you're coming up, especially playing with older guys. You get nervous and you get a bit antsy on the ball. I noticed that with young footballers a lot, even coming up to TFC too. <clears throat> might get nervous or a bit antsy when, <clears throat> if you just compose yourself. I, I had to learn this. Obviously, it took me a couple of months. Right. You know, 
compose yourself and know that you have time. If you take a good touch, you're gonna have time and to protect the ball right. and stuff like that. Like little things, even little. Um, what's the word? Little game savviness, things like that. You know. Right, right, right. Being smart when you protect the ball and stuff like that. I think if we just take time, take your time. And turn and stuff like that. It helps a lot. It builds your confidence, you know. For sure, and I, you know, I, I, how many? Wait, did I cut you off? No, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Yeah. So, how many? Do you take check your shoulders a lot? Yeah. A lot, right? But my position doesn't. Need, I don't need to check my shoulders as much. Like in possession, I'm a left back, so I don't really need to check my shoulders as much when I'm receiving the ball, but more for when I'm defensively to check if there's a defender behind me, you know, things like that. Right, right, and you said you play you play left back, so you're a lefty. Yeah. Okay, and you obviously use both of your feet, right? Yeah. 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 Very important. Very important. So you know, where do you see yourself in the next two, three years? Two, three years. I really, I'm praying on first team right now. You know. Right, right, right. And you. I have you, a big opportunity for myself, especially in that position. There's no depth. Mm. For that position with the first team right now. So you're already you're already looking at that position, seeing what's yeah. going on and planning. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. And you know, I I know I said the planning, but are you planning? Are you actually planning? Because oh, for I've me, been, I've been planning before. I, <laughs> checked, I like that. I like that. So so you you have a goal, you have a plan. All you need to do is the third thing, which is execute action. That's literally execute. it, and that's what yeah. you're doing right now. The chance when they give it to you, you know. Nice, nice. You're doing everything, so you already know what's going on. So, um, what was like the biggest sacrifice that you ever had to make for a football? Friends. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. For sure. Because uh, uh, growing up, um, especially over on this side, there's a lot more trouble to get into. And um, with my mom's job, she was always away. Mm hmm. <coughs> More than half the time, she was away, so I was by myself a lot. Right. So, I, well, you know, you're young, high school, we're doing our thing, like, just trying to chill with our friends or whatever. But then I got caught up in doing things like I just shouldn't be doing if I want to be a, a pro baller, you know? Right, right. But then it came to a point where, like, uh, my friends were really going one way. I even, um, like... Straight up, I had to decide, like, do I want to go the, the, the football way or do I want to just chill with my boys, you know? Right, right. But I could, I could see in them that they're doing things not even thinking about their future, you know? Like, I'd be caught up in a situation and I'm like, yo, if if we go down right now, I'm not playing soccer no more. These guys don't got soccer to play, you know? That, the, that's what really woke me up. And they're fine, they're fine with that, right? Um yeah, they'll, they'll hold whatever. But so, me, everything could be taken away just like that, you know. So seconds. for me, um, that that part was was difficult for me. And it sound like some sticky situations. So you know, how'd your friend like? How'd you deal with the situation of? Did you tell them or did you just distance yourself quietly? Like how how was that? Yeah. So that that part was hard. That part is the the hardest part because you don't want to go up to them and tell them something like that you don't know what they're gonna react or they might just not take you seriously yeah so honestly the best thing i had to just distance myself i had to cut it off like completely you know right like that chilling stuff like you, know, you could do that with one two people you don't <laughs> you don't need the whole click to be doing your thing you know yeah for sure for sure so wow friends friends i mean i mean all the places that i've talked to sacrifices like friends family traveling right uh, if they're at a long distance um yeah yeah i like that topic right there that was nice that was nice even um even being tired you gotta just when you're tired you gotta realize what your goal is and you gotta push yourself you gotta use your goal to to wake your ass up you know nice i like that you're saying wake up yeah i've been the past week or so i've been doing like over 10k runs and 10K. when i wake up yeah over 10k and when i wake up it's like i wake up and i'm like yo i'm so tired right now i don't know how the hell i'm about to do this and then like an hour later i'll just i'll just go just go don't even think about it just go right and you imagine running 10k bro you're running for like an hour so it's like 
dog, you're just thinking in your head. You just keep, you're just running. You know, it's either it's all on you if you're gonna stop or not. Like yeah. you know, at that point, it's just automation. You're just doing it off motion. Exactly. You're just going. Exactly. For sure, yeah, I know that. I know that from France, yo. When I was in France, it was, I felt like I was in the army, running every single day and stuff like that. But I hate running without a ball. It's like there's, there's no purpose. <laughs> I hate it. No, but you know, I, I don't know about you, but for myself, it just built up uh, muscle and memory, and it was just like the motion and getting in the habit in the mind of just doing this thing and keeping it in flow. For me, at least, I don't know about you, but for me, I think that that type of running, since I'm getting more comfortable with it now. I think it's just gonna help like um even when you don't wanna make that run, you're gonna make that run. Yeah. I'm trying to train my muscles to really endure like that ninety minute feeling, you know, the late sixties and stuff like that. <laughs> if you could train your muscles to to like get used to that that weakness or that tiredness, you're gonna go for longer, you know? Yeah. So I, I seen on your um your Instagram page this this goal that you scored for I think it was in Woodbridge if I remember the pitch correctly. And it was uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like outside the box, bro. It was yeah. like I just booked it. <laughs> that was crazy. So like, what gives you the confidence to just bust a shot long distance? Yeah. How far would you say that was? Like thirty yards? Yeah, about thirty yards, bro. Honestly, in that that moment, I was just pissed off that like our touches were a bit off. The pitch was so, but <laughs> it's weird because before that game. Uh, I was just telling myself like, yo, I'm gonna score today. Like, I just had a feeling from right. before the game. I was like, yo, I'm scoring today. Like, if I get a chance, I'm, I'm just shooting, you know. And I did that. And my whole family was there, so I went buck, you know. <laughs> yeah, I seen the celebration. I seen the celebration. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the energy. My was there, so you know, I was feeling myself. Nice, yeah. That was a yeah. that was a golasso. So, so, so you said you you just told me you used anger and in a positive way use that into your, a positive energy and then you know you made the decision just to just shoot and before that though before going into the game in mentally in your mind you're like i'm gonna score a goal mm -hmm. again i think as as footballers we gotta see things before they happen you know yeah i agree like like even from young my coach used to tell us like like he used to imprint this in our brain like Tell yourself, I'm sick. I could do this. I'm gonna do that. You know, affirmation. Just always have that in your mind, and then, bro, it just it comes to you. Facts, facts. So, what team did you play for before TSC? Play for Union Bill. Union Bill, okay. Um, have you have you played anywhere else? Uh, have you played outside of Canada? I mean, obviously with TSC. Um, but um, no. Okay, so you've been traveling with TFC though. Yeah. Yeah. So how's the whole TFC experience been for you? Well, honestly, it's life changing <clears throat> because it saved me from a lot of other things, you know. Um, but <clears throat> when I first went there, I won't lie, I was young and I I did not want to be there. I felt so out of place and stuff like that. I felt super out of place. So how'd you do with it? Um, honestly, my my um. My friend, my best friend, and my mom were like, we're having some serious talks, and they really like kept my mind straight, you know, because there was times where I was not thinking straight, but they kept my head on, you know. Right. Sometimes people need that. For sure, for sure. <laughs> and would you say, would you say, um, you know, now you have your mind? Yeah. Yeah, because even um, sometimes at TFC or anywhere in the world, like, you know, if you're not playing. So I wasn't always a left back. And then when I went there, they put me to left back. So I wasn't even happy with that, you know, because I was a winger. I'm like attacking. And I'm like, what are these guys putting me in the defense for? But clearly they saw something that I didn't, which right. helped me today, you know. It helped me a lot because look at the position I'm in right now, you know. Yeah, I'm for not sure. fighting against 10 wingers. You know, I'm fighting against a left back. That's it. Right. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's tough sometimes. Especially, like, <clears throat> I didn't really know anyone on the team. So it was, like, kind of different for me. I always heard about TFC. It was overwhelming, you know? Yeah. But, 
but uh, I got comfortable. Everyone made me feel like family, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. And and you're doing it now, right? Yeah. So yeah. So again, it's great. It's a great experience. Now, um, what was I gonna say? So, I mean, we covered a lot of things. We covered a lot of things. Um, obviously, the main goal is professional. There's no school or none of that. That's yeah. yeah. So, oh, so that's also a big thing. Like, uh, man's had their um, scholarship offers, hmm. like to a bunch of different schools in the states. But for me, school is never <clears throat> school is never my thing. For sure, Although, yeah. Like, uh, like there's big opportunity with ball and stuff like that it's like <clears throat> i always felt i always had to think in my head where um it's not a professional environment if i go there i'm gonna get distracted or the football is just not gonna be as good and uh, my level could drop that's why i never took interest in school i agree with you man. i agree with you because it's <clears throat> bro there's no doubt about it your levels the level's not as high as a professional environment like no doubt about it right <clears throat> that's why i always say because those those years even the, like right now like 17 to 22 whatever it may be those are prime years bro if you're losing out on that you're screwed wait can you say that again prime years i said like <clears throat> like 16 like 17 to 22 whatever 17, 22 like, prime those, years those, those are prime years you know if you're if you're lacking on one of those years like that could that's a big impact to pe compared to people that aren't stopping and in a professional environment constantly. Training, yeah. You know? For sure. And how are you dealing with this COVID-19? Is it slowing things down for you right now? Honestly, man's just miss getting touches, you know, just the flow of the game. Yeah. Just all right, We went through all the preseason and then a week before season starts, this stuff happened. So, you know, it's kind yeah. of annoying. So, how, when do you think this thing is going to end? <clears throat> Honestly, I'm hoping we'll be back by, like, July. I'm hearing things about June, but I, I think that's too soon. Yeah. If, if we're lucky, I'm saying July. Like that. If we're lucky, we're going to have a summer. <laughs> They're yeah. saying June. Yeah, you're right. I think I think September. Yeah. Honestly, maybe. But then they're talking about, like, cutting down the season games or, like, trying to squeeze in more. But, you know, it's... Well, who knows? Or they... I even heard something where they're going to try to go on like a European schedule where we play a few games and then have a break and then come back to it the next year. Mm, who knows? That's just crazy. Bro, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, I have, I have a quick question for you. Yes, sir. All right, so you know, you know about the new book? Yeah, I was literally going to ask you about that just now. Oh, what were you going to ask me about it? I was gonna tell you to send me the link. I want to copy. Are you want a copy? Um, okay, I'll send yeah, I'll send you the link. Okay, so my question was, um, you know, how how do you know about the book? First of all, your Instagram. Oh, so you seen it on my story, right? <laughs> so when you see when you seen the book, what were your like initial thoughts? Like, what did you think of it? Bro, well, I was like, I was honestly gonna message you. I I took longer than like you messaged me before I messaged you, but I was yeah. gonna message you and show you like that's some good shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honestly, I I respect shit like that. People making moves, different moves. Yeah, give no, different. Like you know, who's thinking about making a book right now? I was like, yo, this guy's on it right now. Right, right. Appreciate you know, that. I, I haven't seen shit like that from anyone, and I see you're doing your own movement. So I was like, I was really fucking with it, heavy. Give thanks, man. Give, I haven't heard that. I haven't heard that from anybody yet. But I see. I see the vision where you're seeing shit. Bro, keep going. I'm just telling you, dog. Cause it's hard for since we're young. It's hard for us to start movements like these because people don't take us serious, and they don't. They don't see what. They don't see man's visions. You know. For sure. I think. To, I see that you. You don't give a fuck what people say. Yeah, so yeah. Doing your thing, which I like. Appreciate that. I appreciate that. I think to to encounter what you were saying about people don't give a fuck. I think they don't give a fuck when you're talking about it, but when you're actually doing it and they see the movement, that snowball effect starts growing. I think that's where the confidence starts to grow and more people start to take it serious. Yeah, 
Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. No more love and stuff. Um, there's a question. What made you, uh, made you uh, write the book? So basically, you know, in my head at the time back in like 2018, I'm just like, you know, I have 13 years of experience in football. I have, you know, bad decisions that I have made, uh, pitfalls. I have success, right? I've been to England. I've got picked up by Reading FC, right? But that didn't go fully through because, you know, they were choosing between me and another player from Dortmund, right? And mm -hmm. but then again, it's like that has a story to itself because that's what gave me the ultimate confidence to be still 20, right? Working towards a professional contract, right? Still. Yeah. So then, you know, I went to France, another big opportunity where I was playing a uh, division five semi-professional and then, you know, getting to the contract. Oh, your three months is overdue and, you know, nobody wants me to stay because they want to see me longer to observe me more oh, to yeah. say, OK, we really want this guy. Right. So I didn't give them that effect yet. So, um, just long story short, it's just all experiences, all pitfalls, all success within one creation that can be duplicated a million times. On top of that, I've interviewed professional coaches and professional players as I'm doing right now, right? Yeah. So I've been able just to collect all this information and put it into the book. That's good. Right? And the key the key thing is it can be duplicated. It's, it's created one time and it can be duplicated a million times and shared with a whole bunch of people. Well, trust me, I say the best way to describe our shit is um, it's one of my Instagram captions same dream different stories we all have the same dream of playing for his team and stuff but we all got different paths and different stories to tell how we got there exactly exactly trust me bro okay so <clears throat> how long were you in Egypt for in Egypt, mm -hmm. stand there for three, three, four weeks. How was that? It's different, huh? It's, it's definitely different, one hundred percent. Um, yeah. it's amazing, man. Did you go inside a pyramid? Yeah. Yeah. What's inside? What the hell? Uh, I'll, I'll send you a video. I'll send you a video. Okay. 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 Um. This is mind blowing, man. Like words can't explain it. Only you know the eyes and the brain have to see it. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. the other thing though, for the museum, you see the people though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. the ancestors for real. You yeah. see yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah, for yeah. For brothers yeah. and sisters for sure. So okay, I have a. <clears throat> okay, so I have two questions, or maybe three, but two. Do you have an agent? I uh, no, I don't. Okay. I did before, but then now I don't. So how, how come you don't have an agent right now? Uh, just we fell off. I didn't like, he wasn't giving me really what I wanted and stuff like that, you know? Right. And I talked to Luca Petrasso and he was telling me that uh, uh, the same thing with his contract that um, he didn't have an agent. And then I asked him, I said, the people that you were signing the contract with, you must trust them. So did you trust them as well? <clears throat> I did, but then I realized a lot of things words you know like, people don't say who they are and, like you know right everyone everyone's trying to get their own yeah yeah but you know man's are, we're a bit younger you know I had to go through things to learn for sure for sure I understand that I've been through that myself as well and let's go with the last question is uh, through the book is soccer in the digital era we're living in a digital era we have we all have phones you know, um, how are you using, are you using apps to, you know, build yourself or use platforms to leverage off of? So I, I used to never post a lot and stuff. And then I don't know if you noticed, but recently, like the past month or two, I've been posting a lot more, especially like soccer stuff. Yeah. Because I'm trying to like, you know, just promote it a bit more, you know, yeah. more soccer side. Uh but yeah, that stuff that stuff helps, especially if you're doing doing more, you know. Yeah. But um, I don't I don't really do too much with the social media like that, you know. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's it's hard to keep up, you know. Every 